Hey guys, welcome to the Fruget Seafood Kitchen today. Uh, today we're playing with uh, a little bit of halibut. Uh, I've got um, some Atlantic halibut today, Northern Atlantic halibut. Uh, basically the same, the same fish you're going to get out of the, the West Coast. They're typically a little smaller, so you can see it's not quite the big, thick um, fillet that you'd be used to for a West Coast halibut. Uh, but same, same fish, same diet, so it's going to be super lean fish, nice and dense meat, flaky. They're going to feed off of anything they can get their, their mouths around, basically, crustaceans, um, clams. Uh, you're looking at, at squid, octopus, other fish, whatever. So great for broiling, for the grill, for sauteing, for poaching. Uh, not really something you're going to want to smoke because it's got such a low fat content. Uh, but today we're just going to do a quick pan sear, throw it in the oven. Uh, I've got a little mushroom ravioli here. We're going to throw it together with a little brown butter and sage and some green beans and just put a nice clean... Uh, kind of classic dish together for the halibut today. Okay, now I'm just going to break the, the fillet down. I, I kind of want to cut it into roughly six ounce portions here. Nice center cut here. We'll probably use this one for the video. It'll be nice and pretty. Just cutting cross sections. And typically our tail piece is going to have a little bit of tendon in it. You want to make sure we're going to cook that one well done or use it for a stew or something like that. So I'm going to use this one here. We're going to get it seasoned up, a little salt and pepper. We'll get our pan preheated and we'll get going. All right, now our, our pan's preheated. I'm going to go ahead and season this with just a little bit of salt and pepper. Nice thick fillet like this. I'm going to season both sides. Okay, now I want to get a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Nice little pat of butter as well. Get that melted. That'll just kind of help to prevent the butter from, brown, from burning and really help give us a nice golden brown crust on the fish. Lay this in the pan. Three, four minutes on this side, get a nice, nice crunch, nice crust. We'll get it flipped over, get the whole pan in the oven. All right, now our fish has been uh, on the presentation side for about two and a half, three minutes or so. We're gonna get this flipped over. Nice golden brown crust. I got the oven on about 400 degrees. We're gonna pop this in the oven, probably six to eight minutes. You wanna cook this all the way through. Uh, while that's in the oven, we'll get our, our sauce together and we'll be ready to go. All right, guys, our uh, halibut fillet is in the oven right now. We're going to go ahead and start to build our sauce. Uh, all I'm going to do, real simple, a little olive oil, uh, a couple of pads of butter here. I'm just going to make up a, a real basic brown butter sauce. Um, once the butter starts to brown, I'm going to throw in some shallots, a little fresh sage leaf. Um, and then I got some uh, par cooked green beans and some little mushroom ravioli that we threw together earlier. Uh, we're really just doing a real basic sauce here. That, that halibut fish is nice and nice and clean. You don't want to kind of overpower it with anything. You can go with a real rich and heavy sauce. This would just be kind of your classic brown butter is all we're looking for. Nice foam, nice foam developing there. All right, we're starting to get a little color, so we're going to go ahead and add our shallots, our fresh sage leaf. So just a pinch of salt black pepper as well. It smells great, that sage and brown butter. Okay, now put our green beans in here. Again, these are already cooked. All we're going to do is reheat them. Got our ravioli as well. Just going to give this a toss two or three minutes just to reheat everything through. And this will be the base for our fish. All right, guys, now our sauce is ready. Our halibut filet should be, should be ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off on this guy and just put a nice little bed of our ravioli and a couple of green beans on there. And we're going to just build a, a little, little spot for our fish to rest. Get some of these sage leaves and shallots on there as well. All right, now we'll get our fish out of the oven. Nice and firm, cooked all the way through. Okay, just put our fillet right on top. We'll put it back together there. And I'm going to take a little bit of this brown butter. I want to get some of the butter itself and just put it right over the fish. A little bit on the plate there. And there you go. A little North Atlantic halibut with Herco Vares, brown butter, sage, and mushroom ravioli.